I just want to share some things today that I've gotten involved in and getting very interested in. There's a, uh, I've been looking at Zen Buddhism, of course, because of that book that I'm reading. And also, uh, I've been working on a series of art lectures now for over a year, I guess, uh, on uh, the intersection of art and spirit. And in doing that, I've stumbled across an art movement, uh, which started in China, but basically was really developed and matured in Japan. Uh, the, the origins of it go back, oh, you know, almost as old as Buddhism itself. Uh, some say as far as back as 300 BC or so, but really didn't uh, take its form as such as an art movement in the form of something called Wabi Sabi until about uh, 1500 or so. And the legend is is that a a young man went to a tea master who wanted to learn how to do the tea ceremony to become a tea master. And uh, which is incidentally one of the things I really am enjoying is the way that the Zen Buddhists have taken these philosophical concepts and created art forms that teach and demonstrate or point at or represent uh, the maturity of these ideas. And the, the tea ceremony is one of the oldest forms of it. You know, that, that practice of being completely present and doing something with absolute attention, uh, with absolute simplicity and, and total being. And so this young, young uh, man goes to be taught by this tea master. And so the tea master is, I guess, a uh, test for him to see if he was going to take him on as a student was to have him rake the garden, you know, one of these fine Japanese gardens. And so the young man rakes the garden and he finishes and he's done an absolutely pristine job and he decides to shake the red maple tree and some leaves fall from the maple tree and he so loves the arbitrary placement of the leaves the humility of a job that isn't perfect the incompletion of it accepting it as it is uh, taking the world as it comes and seeing perfection in it. Uh, anyway, he leaves it as it is, and that is the beginning of this art movement called Wabi Sabi. And so over the next few days, uh, I'm going to s look at different paintings. I'm going to start with what's called the Oxford series, which many of you may have heard. It's the description of enlightenment from stage one to stage ten through artwork through uh, ink drawings from the 12th century. So I'm gonna start doing that one picture or one painting a day for the next 10 days. And then after that, kind of step into it some more if we want to, if we're interested in it. So come along for the journey. We'll start tomorrow.